Hey my friends, welcome back to Rosie's Creative Wing. So in this video, um, I wanted to create a junky, junky art journal with some scraps, just scraps. Um, so I wanted to come and share that with you and have you guys come along with me. I honestly don't have an idea how to create this little journal, but I thought that I would just take a whole bunch of scraps and just put them together any which way. I'm not going to be very neat about it. Um, I'll probably do some sewing. I'll probably do some gluing. Um, of course, kind of like um, kind of like a Franken style type of junky journal. I'm going to add all types of papers. Um, all colors, all design. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to take a lot of scraps and I'm just going to put them together into a junky journal and try to do something like that. I'm going to use a lot of my scraps so I can get rid of them. And yeah, eventually use this little journal to do mixed media on. But before that, um, I just wanted to share some things with you. So um, before I get started with my junky, junky journal, I just wanted to um, come on and... Uh, show this Christmas card that I received from Veronica Christie. Um, thank you so much, my dear. This is a Christmas card that she sent me. Um, she did say that a lot of her Christmas cards went out late. But I appreciate it so much, my dear. I hope all is well with the family. Let me see if I could just open it like this. Thank you so much, my dear, for this card. Oh, that's so pretty. And it matches the envelope. That's really pretty. Christmas greetings. Oh, she sent a little something there. And it says, open your heart at Christmas and not just for one day. Open your heart at Christmas. Let the beautiful feelings stay. Carrying generosity and love. Be treasured through the year. Don't wait until Christmas to share with those you hold dear. Thank you, my dear. And then she, and then the rest of it says, May the peace and the beauty of the Christmas season last throughout the year. Then she writes, Rosie, I hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Here is here's a angel I made. Your crafty friend, Christy, crazy, uh, Christy's crazy crafty life. Thank you, my dear. Also, she made a little angel. That's really thoughtful. Let me see. so pretty and a little candy cane like <laughs> so cute. look how pretty that is wow that's so pretty that's a nice job look at that very pretty angel thank you so much Veronica this is so pretty very very pretty I'm gonna hang it right there Thank you, my dear. I appreciate that so much. I know it's an angel, and it may be for Christmas, but I'm going to keep it right here in front of me. I'm going to hang it up right here. Very pretty. So cute. Thank you so much. I hope your year is starting well. I hope you have good health, prosperity, and blessings all throughout as well. Thank you, my dear. Then, I also wanted to mention... And I wanted to show that um, <clears throat> this book here, I received it a little late. This is one of the books that I um, showed at my um, purchase share. And then this is one of the ones that I didn't receive yet. So I wanted to come on and show it to you guys so you can see how beautiful it is. This is um, the book of wrapping paper. And um, it's called Pepin. But the actual uh, author, or the one that made the art, is his name is um, what is his name? Jeez, please. <sighs> Pepin Van Ru Ruger. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I know it's Pepin Van R O O J E N. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. So that's his 
um, I guess this is his art, um, and they made it into wrapping paper. And so the whole, all the, all these books are showing his art. So um, uh, Nick the Booksmith is where I found these. Is um she had them in her channel, and so I found them. But she calls them Kevin Papers, and I'll probably do the same. So these are beautiful gift wrapping papers that you can use for anything. So you know what I'm using this for. But anyway, <clears throat> let's see what it looks like inside. I didn't want to open it until I recorded. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. There you go. And I think these bring 12, 12 large. That's even pretty right there. <clears throat> 12 wrapping papers. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it off camera though. I'm just gonna, um, um, I'll do this one for now. I'm just gonna uh, release one side of it. That way if I need a piece, I can just rip it out of here, cut it from here without taking this part out. Look how gorgeous that is. I'm gonna get me at least two more. I have a few of them in my cart. But these are um, $18.99, so they're a little pricey. But I would definitely love to get two more. Look how beautiful the black and the white. That's gorgeous. Look at this one. Beautiful. I mean, this one is kind of similar to this one, but it's not exactly the same. Yeah. Look at that. Well, look at this one. Black and white again. A different style. This one's different than the other ones as well. This one has like the green. It's gorgeous. Beautiful. This one has like the blue. This is beautiful. Look at that. I love it. You can do some really pretty um, journal colors with this paper too. Look at this one. And this one. Oh my god. It's so gorgeous. This is gorgeous. I love it. So I just wanted to come and show you guys that. And I also wanted to mention that in my haul where I showed my... um. My laminator, I had to send that laminator back, so um, I would recommend that you don't buy it if you thought about buying one, and I showed it. I mean, I didn't turn it on or anything. I just showed it. I just took it out of the box and showed it, but I had to send it back because it was not good. I used it the first time, and it just didn't work out for me, so I was able to purchase this one here, which was a little bit more. Um, the other one, I got it for 14 um, on Black Friday. I don't know what the original price was, but I decided to get me a better one just so that I won't have issues. This one was $29.99, but this one does have more features. It does have the trimmer over here. It did come with a corner rounder right here, which is great. And it did come with not only the large pouches, but it came with the smaller pouches, the medium pouches, and the regular size page pouches. So that was a bonus. And I did try it out already. My daughter had a project from, at school, and I tried it out already, and I like it. So it does have, um, I like this because you can just grab it through here, one. Um, it has the ruler here. Um, you put the paper under it to cut it. So let's say you're going to do this. And then you're going to cut it out. Um, it has the on and off button here, which I like. I, I don't know if the other one had any of this. Um, I don't think the other one had an on and off button. I had to unplug it, which I didn't like. So it has the middle. You shut it off. It has cold and hot. And then here it has release button. So if you want to release whatever's in there, gets a little stuff, you can release it with this. Yeah, so I like it. I tried it. It worked out very well. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely do 
some produce that I have in mind. This laminator. So just wanted to let you guys know so that um, if you had that other laminator in mind, this one's actually better. And this is this brand here, the Glad Top. Glad, sorry, Glad Top A4 uh, thermal laminator, and I purchased it uh, through Amazon. So that's the bad. Um, so yeah, so now I want to start. Um, so I was thinking about doing just a junkie junkie journal, and that's what I'm gonna call it. Um, because I do have a lot of scraps that I want to get rid of still. I do have a lot less than what I used to. This is my scrap bin right here. So it's not too bad. Before you had to see that. I really had so much, but I took out a lot so far just to um so these are this is what I took out. Um so I don't care um how they look. I don't care the pattern that it has. I don't care if it's ripped or anything like that. I'm just gonna use it as is. I may like rip some papers here and there as I go. Um, but let me just give you an example. This is what I'm thinking of here. So I did play around with it and this is already um, a page. So it's gonna go like that. And this is the size that I'm looking at. And here's another one. You see, I don't care that it's ripped. I don't care what it looks like. I just want to put everything together, make it look as junky as possible. And I'm going to be doing mixed media on top of it. Um, I did have something to guide me with the size. Where, where's that little paper that I had? Okay, guys, I'm back. So I just found the paper. So this is what I want to use as my guide. Let me just move this aside here. So you see, it's kind of almost the same size I mean this some of it that's gonna stick out which I don't care about that so I'm gonna put this here as a guide I'm gonna put a little bit of tape and I'm just gonna um, when I say guide I'm just gonna use the size of it I don't want to keep measuring because I just want this video to go very quick um, I don't want to make it too long so let me just get my tape So I'm just going to put on some music and just do some collaging and put these um, signatures together. I don't know that I'll be able to finish the whole thing um, in this video, but if I don't, if I see that the video is getting too long, I'll just um, do a second part. Okay. Okay. So yeah, so this is the idea. I also wanted, I also had an idea for the cover, so just wanted to show um, you this right here. So these are pieces that, so what I did um, when I was putting away my Christmas tree and the things for Christmas, like bags and things that are left over, um, the rolls of, that I had left over wrapping, of wrapping paper, what I did was I unrolled them, took them totally out of the roll. Um, just let them extend on the floor and I folded them and so back in the day in that store that this discount store that I love um, they had they used to sell the wrapping paper in packets like this just like this and they were folded and there was probably like um, six to eight different types of wrapping paper in that one little packet and I used to love that packet because I used to buy two of them and that's all I had to get because it has so much wrapping paper in there and then they were nicely folded in that packet and it used to save me so much space. So what I did was I kind of did like the same thing, same concept. Um, I took all the wrapping paper individually, one by one, unrolled it, folded it very patiently and just made it like this, flattened it all up. And so this is what's under the, um, the roll. Once you unroll all the paper, um, they have this stuff like that but rolled up like this and so what I did was I thought that this was really good for to recycle it's craft paper but it's a thicker craft paper and so what I did was I removed all of them even though they were rounded like that because they caught they had the shape of the roll what I did was I took all of them and I just put them in my um, book press and I was able to flatten them I left them in there a few days 
and so I was able to get these large pieces of craft paper that are pretty nice and hefty. So you can definitely, this one's a little bit softer, but you can definitely recycle those. I mean, look at this one. I love this one. This one has like a little bit of a texture on it, and I love the roughness of it. And so I was able to get quite a few because I had a, quite a few rolls there. So I had one, two, three. So I flattened these like this. <clears throat> and these were a little bit longer. So I'm definitely going to make use of it. Uh, my advice to you is if you roll, when, when your roll finishes of any wrapping paper, if it has a flexible one like this that you can shape up, fold it up and save it because these are really good. They're really like nice pieces of craft that you can use for junctions and anything else. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's continue with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go like this and measure the page as I go. And that's how I'm going to do it. So I'll put on some music. I'm just going to take pieces out of here. This is a piece of canvas that I may use. Just a lot of paper and some cardstock and stuff like that. And I'm going to try to use as much as I can. And then um, I'll see you at the end, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video.
Okay, my friends, so I'm back, and here is my pages. So I did do a few on camera, and then I did the rest off camera. I didn't want this video to be too long, so this is what I was trying to do. And so look how chunky and junky this is. I love it. See that? So this has 10 pages, um, which equals to 20. Could I'll be using one side? I don't know. Maybe I'll be using double if I decide. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah. So you see, some of them, um, some of the pages are coming out a little bit. I'm gonna do a little bit of sewing on there. So here on the first page, I did some sewing throughout. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna go here on this end. Um, view here. So I did like the zigzag um, stitching. You see it there? Um, so I think I'm going to do that so that some of the pages, um, not the pages, sorry, so that some of the collaging could stay put. Um, and I'll be doing that with the rest of it. As far as the cover I thought that maybe I can use um, what I just showed which is um, here, this right here because I do want like a flexible cover so I think I'm going to use one of these this one is a little bit soft so I don't want this one so maybe something like this one that is pretty thick but it's not overly thick and then there's this one here which I love so, yeah, I'll definitely use one of these. I'll probably use one of these right here. These are the most, the more thicker ones. So what I'll do is, I'll do a cover and cut it to size. So that this can be a flexible. I can actually do like a double. I'll probably do that. I think I'm going to sew it and use this as a cover. Yeah, but maybe I'll just do it just the way I'm doing this here at the front. I don't want to make it too neat either. I just want like a junky, junky journal. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, but you know what I'll do? I'm going to finished doing the sewing in the inside um i'm gonna see if i can do this work on this and then on the next video i'll just show you what i mean so you can get an idea of what i'm trying to do so maybe i'll just do it from this end here being that this is already together to get a new phone folder. The phone folder is bad, bad condition. So let's see. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll cut it in actually it doesn't even matter because I'm gonna cut this out anyway. I don't want it to be um like this. I want it to be just like the inside pages so I'll work on that. I'll work on it and I'll come to you in the next video and we'll put it together. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my idea for my junky, junky journal. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And on the next video, I'll come back and show you the finished pages. And, um,. I'll start working on the cover and bring that to you too. So um, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.
um, to anyone who's new to my channel. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.